welcome to So Learn Create, and I'm glad you joined us today. If you like this type of video, be sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. It really does help. Today's project, we're going to use a unique product for sewing, a pool noodle. Now, I get my pool noodle at my local dollar store, and I like it because it is smaller in diameter. And the project we're making is a stress ball. So you put the pool noodle in the middle, and then you can squeeze it and either strengthen your hands or just relieve some of that stress. So let's get started. For today's project, the stress pouch using the pool needle, you'll need the following supplies. You'll need some polar fleece fabric that is three and a half inches by three and a half inch square. And I've used polar fleece because it's really soft, but it also has a little bit of a stretch to it. You'll need a pool noodle, of course, and you're, um, we're gonna cut our pool noodle down using a pool noodle knife. And you can find these at your local Dollar Tree most of the time in the summer. And they work great to cut a pool noodle, but they are safe because they won't cut your hands. So they're safe to use even with kids. And then some basic sewing supplies. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, cut down our pool noodle to one inches across. And you just take your pool noodle measure out an inch, and then you just cut it using the knife. And it cuts it really easily. So we are going to take our polar fleece, and polar fleece most of the time doesn't have a right or wrong side, especially if it's a solid, you really can't tell. But this has a design, and so one side is a little more dull, and I'm gonna say that's my wrong side, and one side is a little brighter. So we're gonna put those right side to right side or just put them together. And a great economical way to get polar fleece is in the winter time, almost everybody sells those polar fleece blankets and they usually sell between, oh, three to $10 and you get a lot of fabric in that. So it's a great way if you want to make a bunch of these or a bunch of projects, those blankets are a great economical way to buy polar fleece. And we're gonna put clips around to keep this from shifting on us when we stitch. And we are gonna leave an opening on this edge and we have to leave a pretty wide opening because the pool noodle has to fit down inside there. So normally we would leave a pretty small opening, but for this we've gotta insert something so we need it wide enough. And I'm gonna use my green and red clip system my green clip is where I'm gonna start stitching, and my red clip is where I'm gonna stop stitching. So this opening right here is gonna be where I'll put my pool noodle in, and that will stretch, so that's why I use the polar fleece. I wanna, don't wanna leave this whole edge open because we're gonna hand stitch this closed, and that would be a long way, and then those corners would not be squared off. So you wanna be sure that you start your stitching, go a little bit to your corner, and same thing on this side. So this will be where we're opening. So we're gonna to go to our sewing machine and get started. So we're gonna stitch all the way around, starting at our green clip, stitching around, and stopping at our red clip. And remember, we want this wide opening to fit our pool noodle in. So I'm gonna remove my green clip. I always like to start with my needle down in my project. stitch to the corner with my needle down. I'm going to lift my project with my presser foot, turn my project, and keep sewing. I'm going to do that on all four corners. and I'm gonna kind of put my finger there to remind myself that I need to make a little bit wider opening on this project. Stitch there. All right, we've stitched all the way around. Let's go back to the mat. So now we've stitched all the way around and I'm gonna clip my threads. I always clip those as I go just to kind of keep things neat. And then before I turn something, I always make sure, flip it over, and I make sure that I caught both edges because now is the time to fix it 
rather than turning, finding a hole, and then you gotta turn it back around. And on this project, we're gonna clip our corners, and that means we're gonna clip them diagonally across the corner, making sure that we don't clip our stitching. And we're gonna do that on all four corners. And the reason you do this is to reduce the bulk in that corner, and it makes them turn out easier. I'm gonna clip all the way around. And then we're just gonna take and turn our project right side out. And I use a chopstick to poke out my, my corners when I turn something. And you wanna poke gently, because on polar fleece especially, you can poke through your stitching because it does give a little bit. And this corner is where we're, our opening was, and the reason I went around that corner is so when I turn it, that corner comes out nice and pointy. And I have a little bit smaller opening to hand sew. So there's our project turned right side out. Then we're gonna insert our pool noodle. And you might have to kind of squeeze it to get it through. But once it's in, it'll, it'll flatten back out. Get it inside there. And this is the reason you don't want to use like a cotton fabric because you need a little bit of give when you put that noodle in. And when you squeeze it, you want it to have a little bit of give. So a, a cotton fabric would not work well because it would be a little more stiff. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to hand sew this opening because there's not enough room. We want this tight around our pool noodle. There's not enough room to put it back in the machine and machine stitch that close. So we're gonna use our hand sew our needle and thread. And if you like my little pin cushion, I'll put a link to my um, video on how to make the bottle cap pin cushion up in the corner. So to hand sew, I've threaded my needle and tied my knot. And I like to start from the inside to the outside and pull my thread so my needle is on the inside. And then I'm gonna do a whip stitch, so I'm gonna bring my thread across the top and come back from the other side. And in polar fleece, especially your, your threads will just kinda of disappear. So I'm gonna pull my thread across, come from the back side, and just keep stitching and pull those tight as we go all the way across. And you're just gonna stitch all the way and close up that opening and tie off your knot, and then you're done. I hope you liked today's project, the stress pouch made with your pool noodle. See you in the next one.